Hi there, my name is Linda Summers and today I'm going to do a short little video about uh, legs and hips. So we're going to focus more on strengthening through the legs and the hips and the buns. So we're going to start, you can always start by just having a seat on your mat and finding a few breaths. Uh, center yourself and then once you are done with your breath work, we're going to come down into a table pose. So coming down to your hands and knees. I want you to stack your shoulders over your wrists, and I want your knees underneath your hips, trying to find a table pose position. So hands down, spread them wide, knees underneath the hips, head is lifted. Take a deep breath in, lifting the tailbone up to the sky, opening up the heart, and then on the exhalation, rounding the spine into a cat pose. You could do this a few times. Inhale, you can open the heart, open the spine, belly is inwards. Exhale, rounding the spine, relax the shoulders, let your head dangle. Inhale, come into your table pose, and then on the exhalation, tuck your toes and lift up into downward dog pose. So you're gonna take a soft bend in the knees, spread your hands wide apart, try to relax the shoulders, and just allow your hamstrings to gradually open. Taking a few conscious breaths here, and just to center yourself in this moment, connecting to the earth. And then inhale, lift up onto your toes, and then on the exhalation, bringing your feet to the front of the mat, bending your knees, coming into chair pose. So you're going to inhale, reaching your arms up into the sky into chair pose. And you can stay here for a few moments if you like. Allow the buttocks to reach back and the spine to lift up. If the arms reaching bothers you, you can always bring your hands to your heart. You have to listen to that honor what's best for you on your mat. Take another breath and reach up. And then exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift, open the heart. Exhale, step back to plank pose. Right from the knees or toes, you're going to lower down, chaturanga, tummy in, elbows in. Look forward a little bit, and then inhale, roll it up into your cobra pose, expanding through the heart center. And then exhale, lift up through the pit of the belly. You can even do a push up, and then downward facing dog pose. You're going to do that again. Inhale, lift up onto the toes, gazing forward. And then exhale, walking to the front of the mat, bending the knees, chair pose, reach up on the inhalation, and then exhalation, diving forward, please. Inhale, halfway lift, expanding the heart. Exhale, stepping back to plank pose, and lower down from the knees or toes. Cobra, open the heart center, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, lift up through the navel lock, push up, downward facing dog. Now you could do this a few times few rounds of Surya Namaskar if you like, but I'm going to add on. So you're going to inhale, lift up onto your toes, and then exhale, walk to chair pose. And you're going to inhale, sweep your arms back up to the sky, and then bring your hands to your heart center for a moment. And you're going to pause and breathe. Lift up through the navel, finding length and space, find a breath and a focal point somewhere on the floor in front of you. Take another deep breath in. Take your weight onto your right leg. And then on the exhalation, lift your left heel, right? And then if you like, the next variation, lift your toes. Try to keep your hips level. Take another deep breath in here. You're going to slowly now, you're going to lean forward and step your toe to tap and just open up your arms like a wing. Keeping your right leg the same shape, inhale, draw it back in. Either toe taps or hovers. Exhale, release it back. Inhale, do it again. And exhale back. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale one more time. And exhale. Tap. This time draw it in on the inhale. On the exhale, open up your arms and fly warrior two. So you're going to feel that in that right leg. You are. Draw the navel in. Let your left hip drop. Flex your ankle and tear the arms apart. Reaching the heart forward. Foot back. Place your left hand on your hip, bring your right fingertips to the floor, half moon pose, halfway lift, softness in the knee, or you can straighten it to your own degree. Roll the hip open for your half moon. Leg is straight and strong, lift the heart center. If it's uncomfortable, you can always maybe place your hand on a block or whatever feels more comfortable for you. From here, point your toe, take a deep breath and circle the leg. Exhale, finish the circle. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. 
and exhale, hold. Take another deep breath in, you're going to rotate the hip downwards again. And when you're ready, when you feel comfortable, release back out into your warrior number three pose. And draw the navel in. Inhale, tap it in. Next, now tap it back. Inhale, tap it in. Exhale, release it back. One more. Inhale for the lungs. And exhale. And then inhale, draw it in. Place your foot on the floor. Inhale, reach. And then on the exhalation, twist to the right. So you're going to twist to the right. Spread your hands. Looking down or looking up to the sky. So same sort of deal. Inhale, you're going to lift your heel. You can stay there or you're going to lift your toe. Mm -hmm. Inhale, tap the toe. Exhale, draw it back in. Inhale, tap. Exhale. Inhale, tap. Or not, maybe lift. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Release. Step the foot back. Press and lunge with the twist. Option. Hand to the floor. To the inside or to the outside. Another option. Back me down if you're fatigued now. So here's the opportunity to back away from ego and reach up to the sky. Take another breath. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. Walking your right foot to the outer edge of the mat, lifting the heart center, and just let your right leg fall. You're going to need to open up that area. Option number two, take a breath in, fill the lungs, waving the heart forward. Exhale, elbows down. When you're ready, slowly release your hands back to the floor, bring your foot flat, finding in that twisting position. Try to bring your elbow to the other leg. Look down, bend your legs, step it forward, top, and back, exhale. Inhale, exhale, last time, step it in, bring your foot to the floor, reach up to the sky, exhale, hands to the heart, inhale, reach, and exhale, hands to the hips. So that's your round for the right leg. You can replay this video again and do it all on the left side. Enjoy your buns. Namaste.